underway here tonight at Greater Nevada Field in a match that Reno really needs to get three points. Again, if they can get three points here tonight against this Orange County team, it's going to be difficult. They've only lost seven matches of their 33 this year. But if Back of the box and headed in. Brenton Griffiths. And Reno's on the board. What a powerful header. The far post from Brenton Griffiths against his former club. They're just in time. Could have been a, a very bad mistake from the Orange County defense. Over oh, Bersano, what a save. What a save by Matt Bersano. And struggling with injuries. Another chance here for Reno. Jerry Van Avick. Van Avick off the post, and Antoine Openo! This chance was all created by Openo's run, and then it falls back to him after Van Avick hits the post. And Openo just puts it away to make it 2-0. He could have gone with what I suggested, bring in Will Seymour, maybe have two holding mids. Well, it's Quinn picks up the ball in a dangerous position. Eddie Boldson. Right foot, and he finds the back of the net as Thomas Ennevoldson gets Orange County on the board, his 20th. In the West, just tees it up and places it with, with power into that far post to make it 2-1 here in Reno. Was able to find himself in the box, but was unable to put a good strike on it. Oh, and a great ball from Brent Richards. Openo sneaks in and puts it away. Antoine Openo, his second goal. And Reno's in front, three to one. Be able to break through against this Orange County defense. And I don't think Cronally has any idea that Openo's lurking there. Just tries to guide it into Rawls' path. Seth Kasipli. Over to Chow. Kasipli. Oh, just missed it. Eight tonight. Yeah, going up 3-1 against the team that's top. And Avic keeps it for Reno. Roughly 30 seconds left. No, that is it. This one is in the books, and Reno captures a 3-1 victory over Orange County.